here we're at. <laughs> no kitchen left. Woo. In my last video, you guys saw how I was taking everything out of my kitchen and here we are. No kitchen. To start this video, I kind of want to explain a little bit more and really start at the beginning because I had always had a passion for cooking, but I think it is really because of you that I pursued this and kind of followed my dreams. When I started the channel about three years ago and started putting healthy recipes out there, I never expected the amount of questions I got, the enthusiasm I got, the comments and like how other people like really love these. And I started cooking more and more. And I just really noticed how it was one of my biggest passions. Many of you know that this summer I kind of hit a little bit of wall. I was personally not in a very good mental state. I was exhausted, almost like burned out. So I decided to take a little break of everything here in LA and I went to Italy and started cooking with two of the youngest Michelin star chefs in the world, Floriano and Isabella. And during that trip, I felt so inspired and I really decided that cooking and food is just something I love to do so much and especially if I can share that with you. So kind of the whole kitchen renovation is really started because of this. So I wanted to share my trip last summer uh, with you and um, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. So let's go back. So my chef's clothing is ready. Let me put it in my suitcase. Oh my god, I hope it's going to fit. So to give you guys a little bit of a background story, you're probably wondering how did you end up in a restaurant in Italy? Earlier this year, Max and Jason met Floriano and Isabella through a common friend in New York who is in the food space as well. And I talked to Isabella and we did like a live stream on Instagram as well where we were like cooking together and I had so much fun and you know, I'm at a point now where I really Notice that like cooking is really my passion and creating content around it together is just something I truly love to do but I really want to step it up and really learn how to cook and work with flavors and like create things I think my suitcase is gonna be so overweight but it's okay um, I'm gonna pack everything up I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. I mean, the house where I'm staying is absolutely gorgeous. I'm here outside of the porch. This is one of the dogs. Hello, I'm 30 year old. Oh, I'm scared. They just wanna play, but I don't really wanna play. <laughs> Look at this. The pool is there. And then here is like the outdoor, outdoor area. So yeah, I got my own room here. Mondays and Tuesdays we're free so we can just like hang out and chill. Ooh, hello. Hello my friend. Oh my god, we're so excited that someone is awake. I'm waiting for Isabella and Floriano. And then we're gonna head out. Let's start our day. I am ready guys. I am ready. Jason gave me a good tip the other day. If someone asks you, how are you feeling? Your response should be, okay, great. Hype up yourself, be positive, and your day will also be way more positive. That's what we're hoping for. 
Hello. Hello. Isabella, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Isabella. <laughs> Five years not 24 years old yeah can you believe that and here we got Hi. Floriano, Floriano the master Floriano wait we're going by bicycle yeah cool. yeah just him is going oh. so you just met Floriano Pellegrino one of the most upcoming chefs in the world and his girlfriend Isabella Poti an incredible chef with expertise in pastry they're the coolest couple and together they have a Michelin star restaurant called Bros in the center of the beautiful city Lecce in the south of Italy. In the little town Scorano, they have another restaurant called Roots with Italian authentic flavors from the Puglia area. I got the opportunity to live and work with them for a whole month and to take a step onto becoming a chef. So let me take you guys back to the beginning of this journey. Already. Amazing. Oh, we're gonna walk there. Nice. Yes, yes, it's so close by. Oh my god, guys, this is a fresh victory. Yeah. Wait, you can eat this? Yes. Take oh, it's ripe already. It's ripe. Oh my god. <laughs> I love baked. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Got fresh bread here. Mm. Oh, you're enjoying it so much, eh? Yeah? Yes. This is marshmallow, meat marshmallow. This is the cat of roots. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we're at Roots restaurant picking up some bread, and then we're on the way to Bros. I feel kind of nervous. It's like a first day of school and it's kind of it's very weird to, to describe because I haven't felt this way in a long time and I think this is really because you know I'm like stepping out of my comfort zone extremely something I've never done something in a level which is way higher than I'm which I think I'm capable of so it's all good <laughs> and it's really really exciting then I just need to like not push myself but like work my way through it but I'm I'm super stoked and I'm nervous in like a very exciting exciting way and I can't wait to share this with you guys so let me pack grab the bread and let's go ciao oh my god it smells amazing <laughs> Rose, as you can see, I'm gonna give you guys like a little bit of a tour. Here's the kitchen, they're already working very hard. So the office is literally like down the street here and this is where I'm going to change because obviously I need a chef's outfit and I can't wear this. Ah. As you can see like, this is Floriano, Isabella. Okay, oh it's really dark now. So I'm here in the changing room and chef's outfit is ready waiting for me i don't know i'm feeling it today guys i'm excited Ta -da -da! we are ready so guys my chef's outfit is on i got my white shirt my apron i got my pants it also includes these black socks. I don't know if you can see them. The only thing what is missing, I need to put my mask on before I go into the kitchen. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. So this is where you come in. So what is going to happen today? We are prepping for lunch. Then we're gonna have first lunch ourselves and there's gonna be a meeting. This is every time before and after a serving and they talk about what went well, what things we need to do again. So yeah, there's two kitchens here and I'm in the aperitivo and dessert. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little view. Just down here. Ooh, lunch is getting served for us. And look, this is the menu. And over here, 
little kitchen too. So yeah, that's the plan of today. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and uh, have in the kitchen. What do we have here? Uh, Samorejo. Gaspacha. Samorejo Miller. Samorejo. 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 With, a, with a poached egg. I'm so lucky getting to eat all this Italian food. done with my very first work day. This is crazy. We left 8.30 a.m. So how many hours is that? 17 hours or 18. I am so tired guys, like my legs. I can't feel my legs, but it was definitely an experience and to see like how disciplined and how perfect everything needs to be and how organized everything is this already sets the tone at the beginning because before every serving which means lunch one time and dinner one time there's like a whole meeting where they like recap what's going to happen obviously it's all in italian so i can't understand but i do feel the energy right it's like they get ready and then it's like okay let's go and there are all these rules in the kitchen like kitchen basics like you need to work, put a tray underneath the food and like all these rules and even put like the napkin or the cleaning thing like very tight well, it was definitely something different than my kitchen but i'm learning from that though that because you make your environment like that that you're going to be more precise so today obviously i was not like cooking i'm in the pastry and appetizer section so we do like the little bites and then the pastries after oh my god so many pastries already eating that was my day one so far i was definitely a lot to learn i'm tired tomorrow i need to wake up at 8 30 a.m again we're leaving so that's gonna be five hours of sleep good night everyone so it is 3.30 p.m. right now and Lecce is dead silent. I'll take off my glasses. So we finished our lunch serving for today and normally we're done, if we're lucky, around like 4 p.m. Of course, this can delay as well because you have to clean and stuff. So there's a little tiny break in between. Uh, today we were lucky we had a little more of a break. So the team is having a meeting, but obviously it's also in Italian. So what I've been doing over the last couple of days is that I've been just walking around Lecce a little bit, discovering it. And there's this one spot where I go every day which has amazing coffee. And they have this like an iced coffee with like a super sweet almond milk. It's actually way too sweet, sweet for me, but you know, when in Italy, things are different. So literally like a couple minutes from the, from Bros. Look at this. Wow. So here we are at one of my favorite spots. So the coffee is kind of like a yeah, it's coffee with a super sweet almond milk, but it's kind of nice, especially if you need like sugar to keep going because the days are so, so extremely long here. And I do have to say though, I noticed that like, in a way, also all the days are kind of the same because we're, everything is in an order, all the dishes are the same, exactly the timing is the same, like everything needs to be consistent and everything needs to be like perfect. And it's kind of like a challenge for me too because I'm not a perfectionist. I'm so variety driven that like I always need like new, new, new. And I'm hopping on another thing before another is finished. So this is a good learning lesson to 
practice order, I would say. But yeah, we're turning this into coffee talk. I'm gonna enjoy my little break and little coffee. have a little chill moment here I mean myself a little matcha I've been here three weeks right now I think today exactly three weeks I did three weeks at at Rose restaurant and I finished over there and today I'm going to have lunch which is going to be really nice because I worked in a section which was patisserie and aperitivo so that's oh my god I say this with such a bad accent here I got to try obviously like some of the things we prepared but what is for the main courses I haven't seen or haven't even tried because that kitchen is upstairs so I have nothing to do with that but I'm already so excited because even with aperitivos it's like one little bite and it's just like an explosion of flavors in your mouth so I'm very happy um, we finished like late last night again I, I was home at like 1 30 but the third week was already much so much easier than the first week and I I don't know I feel you know all those kitchen basics and stuff like you can read it in a book or in a course or whatever but like by really being in that environment and in that like scene that's where you're really like learning it because it's it's purely like habits and i really noticed that that structure and the timing like every time is the same routine and the same steps and even if you think it's easier to do a little bit different you're not allowed because by doing those steps and routines you will never you will never miss a step does that make sense so i'm really happy about that and i'm so happy like floriano and isabella are just such amazing like passionate chefs like they're so passionate about this work and that like it inspires me a lot actually to like step into this step into this space and i see their passion and they're so like enthusiastic and precise about their work and i think it's really beautiful how they treat their business and their work and the art of food so yeah i'm very happy to spend time with them and to have this opportunity because honestly like yeah it's really really cool really cool um i think uh, everyone's going to get ready so i'm gonna get ready too let's see you guys later so i'm walking through the beautiful city of lecce it's so like historical and wow car coming I should definitely not walk on the road I am gonna go to I don't know even know what it's called but in the middle of the city there's this like big square and over there um, Rose is located so I'm excited I'm also wearing this like super cute dress from Zara I always feel that the Zara in um, in Europe is always so much better I don't know why but it just feels like that super cute detail and this is actually just a bag from Devon Swim but I'm just wearing it as the clutch today. Good morning. Amazing. This is your table. So we got our menu here. Oh my God, so much food. I got a 13 course lunch presented with paired wines. Chef Floriano and Isabella are vegetarian and so are all the dishes in Bros. I love how most of the courses are plant-based and made with local ingredients from their own garden. I always thought that Italian food was everywhere the same in Italy, but here they focus on the special flavors of the area Salento in Puglia. Every dish looked like an artwork and every bite I took was a true explosion of flavor and freshness, something I never experienced before. Food was turned into art. Oh my god, guys, we just came back in the house and I'm so full, but this was such an amazing, amazing, incredible lunch. Let me close this. Oh. Okay, the light is super weird in here. Anyway, this was such an unbelievable lunch it was so good and like 
the flavors every time it was just like a surprise with what what the food was and like how it would taste like and let's say i saw watermelon i would like take a bite of it and completely taste something different it was just amazing and it's almost like they apply like science to foods in the way they prepare things which is just like amazing and right before i left i got these Floriano potters. This is one of the things what was my task in the patisserie. Little jelly things, you know, like Harry Potter. So the first time I saw this, this little thingy and I just like put it in my mouth casually and it's like poof, an explosion of mint. It's really nice. It's end of the afternoon, it's like 6 p.m. right now and I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> it was a long three weeks but really really amazing and even today i just like squeeze myself how floriana and isabella first of all amazing hosts and like the fact that i'm just here like learning from them is just unbelievable like unbelievable and the fact that i'm able to be in italy and to actually was able to travel is just something i'm like super grateful for okay i'm full i just need to stop in oh and max is calling me Bye -bye. Thank you.